Hi, I'm Kaylee, and today we're gonna look at a wig that I was gifted by a company called Wigshe. I don't do this kind of video very often. I do get offers fairly frequently from wig companies offering me free product in exchange for video reviews or unboxings or what have you, um, but I just usually say no because I did have a pretty negative experience with UniWigs, so that really put me off collaborations, and oftentimes I'm just not that interested in the product, so it's just, it doesn't feel worth it to me. But when I got this message from Wigshi, I decided to look at their page because I'd never heard of them before. So totally new company and I'm always interested in looking at brands that I have not seen before. And my interest was piqued, like right away. The first thing that caught my attention was that they really promote themselves as a budget friendly human hair brand. And that's exciting for me because I tend to like quantity. I think that's why I go for synthetic wigs. Part of it is just like it's super low maintenance, it's super easy, just pop them on. But the other thing is that I like a lot of variety. I like all different colors, different lengths, different styles. So with synthetics at a lower price point, I tend to be able to buy more of them. Whereas human hair, getting a nice human hair wig tends to cost a little more. But if I can find a brand that I really like that has like a budget friendly price, I might be more likely to buy more human hair wigs. So that was exciting. And then I also noticed that there were a lot of familiar faces on this page. And honestly, at first that set off some red flags because a number of those familiar faces I have seen on Instagram mention that their videos have been stolen and reused without permission by scammy wig companies before. And so I did a little digging just to make sure that everything was okay. And I noticed that there were a few pages on Wigshi's Instagram page where it had been like a collab post directly from that person's page shared onto Wigshi's page. And and in other cases, I went to the person's page and saw that they had the same video posted on their page with Wigshi tagged. So everything looked good, legit, that made me feel good. And I decided, yeah, we'll do this. We'll, tr we'll give it a try. The person I was talking to at Wigshi told me that I could choose whatever wig I wanted. So I did a little browse and it was difficult. <laughs> it's difficult for me to make decisions because I always like so many things. And there were a number of really pretty ginger shades that I was really, really tempted by, but I have really been loving ashy blondes lately, like this. <laughs> so when I saw this cool toned blonde, I decided that I was going to go for that one. Now I'm going to put a screenshot of the product page for the wig that I chose right here. It is wig 029. The length I chose is 20 inches, 150% density, a small cap, and lightly bleached knots. So that is theoretically what's in this box, assuming that everything has gone right. And I have been dying to open this because I wanted it to be an unboxing video. And that meant that I couldn't open it until I was ready to film and I've not been ready to film. So it's just been sitting on my vanity for days, taunting me. Oh, it's time. <laughs> Right off the bat, when I pulled this out of the box, I thought it was just so unbearably cute. Like, I love adorable packaging. It just makes the whole experience feel extra cute. So in opening the box, we have the little satin bag, which the wig is in. And then it's got such cute little, oh! This reminds me of like an Easter basket. <laughs> so adorable. Then we have a velvet wig grip. Now, I don't actually use any kind of wig grip just because my hair is buzzed, so it kind of acts like a velvet wig grip. And then a lovely little thank you card. So let's get into the wig. Ooh, okay. It's unusual to see a wig come straight out of the satin bag without a hairnet on it, but it does seem very nice and smooth. Everything seems in order. There aren't any weird tangles or anything, so probably not that necessary. And first impressions, the hair feels really nice. It feels really soft. Of course, human hair always does when it's brand new. I don't know what companies put on it. I don't know if it's like a silicone product, but it just, brand new hair always just feels, oh, it's so nice. So this is a lace front wig. They do have a full lace option, but this is what the lace front cap looks like. You can see the lace top there that goes into the lace front, which of course hasn't been trimmed yet because it's fresh out of the bag. And then it goes into the wefted back. There are also a number of clips and combs inside. The ones on the side here are clips. Now those are like on toppers and extensions. So they clip open and clip close to really like grip your hair. And then there's a comb at the back there and one on the nape as well. And little adjuster straps to make sure the cap fits just right. 
I'm probably going to remove the clips and combs because my hair has been buzzed down to basically nothing. So I just don't need them. But I do think it's really great that they have the clips on the side because when I still had hair, I bought a bag of clips and sewed them into my wigs in this spot because I always felt like I needed more security there. Combs didn't do it if the wig even had combs there, but the placement of these is so good. So you can see that they're right on the ear tab there, which means that it's gonna keep that ear tab down really well, really secure if you do have hair there. And then there is a little bit of lace with hair outside of that ear tab. And if you don't have hair, like I don't have hair, I'm probably gonna use a little bit of wig tape to secure that. But if you do have hair, that clip is gonna make a world of difference. And now I think it's time to try it on. Ooh. So immediate first impression, I really like how the cap feels. I haven't hooked in the little straps yet, but it feels snug, like not tight. It feels snug and comfortable. I ordered the small cap and my head circumference, I think is 21, 21.5 inches. And this feels like it fits perfectly. So love that. And then of course I had to run my fingers through it. And I feel like the density again is really good. It feels thick but it doesn't feel overwhelming because I feel like when there's too much density, it starts to feel fake and it can look like just an unrealistic amount of hair. This feels like it's thick, it feels dense, but it feels manageable and realistic, which is really, really good. And then we should take a little look at the hairline, of course. So I do feel like it looks a little bit dense but I like when hairlines come like this because I feel like some wig brands pluck them so thin that it almost looks like my hair did when it was thinning. So I would prefer for it to look like this. And if I decide that I want to thin it out a little more, I can. But right now, I think this looks really good. I think the part looks really realistic, despite me making an absolute mess of this <laughs> with my fingers. But I, so far, I like this a lot. And then those clips that I was mentioning, they are placed right here. So if I had hair, that would be the perfect place to clip in for more security because I hate, hate <laughs> when your tabs are flappy and I feel like that will offer a lot of security if you still have hair. For me, I don't, but I can use wig tape, so I'm good. And as much as I like this so far, I probably won't wear it styled like this. I don't typically wear hair that's really straight. Uh, it's just personal preference. I did order this as a straight style, so I knew it would come like this, but being that it's human hair, obviously it can be styled. So I am gonna put some curl in this and see how it looks with a little bit more body. So I cut the lace, I moved the part over a little bit, and I added some curl, and I am absolutely in love with this wig. Like, there's no question about it, I am in love with this. It just feels amazing. The hairline, I feel like, now that the lace is cut, I thought about plucking it, I'm not gonna pluck it. I just don't feel like it needs it. I feel like I like it exactly the way it is. I don't wanna do anything to it. I just like it. I like it like this. I feel so cute. The lighting has definitely shifted a lot since I started this video, so I'm gonna do a bit of a color comparison. This is the color of the wig in my, let's say, <laughs> dressing room, uh, where we have some artificial light, we have some natural light, a little bit of a combination, so. This is it. And then this is what it looks like in my basement. This is completely artificial light. This is lit with a few pot lights in the ceiling. So there's absolutely no sunlight for this. And this is what it looks like in natural light. It's slightly overcast, so not super sunny, but very, very lovely outdoor light. And I just popped onto WigShe's website to see how much this particular wig would cost with the specifications that I chose, and it came out to be about $840 American. So it's still a good chunk of money, which is to be expected for human hair, especially good human hair. But compared to some of the boutiques that are really popular with the hair loss community, places like uh, Wigs by Tiffany, Lose Wigs, Bijou, uh, The Hair Mama, this is a drastically lower price point. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope it gave you a pretty good look into what Wigshi's products are like or at least what this product is like. And until I get around to the next video, <laughs> bye. <laughs>